I would say that if I could go back in time, I probably wouldn't have gone to university. And I say this having gone to university on a full scholarship. So um, it definitely has its value if you're going to work in the corporate world or if you want to work in the corporate world for a few years and then come out and do your own thing. But if you, if you know from the time you're in high school that you're going to be an entrepreneur for life, I don't think it has that much value. You're better off going and working for another entrepreneur and learning the ropes. I think it was a combination of, I wouldn't say I had a conventional education actually, because I, I worked internships and then I went to school at night. So I, there was no college life, there was none of that for me. It was pretty much just, uh, you know, work nine to five, school six to eight, nine p.m., go home, eat and fall asleep, do the same thing the next day. Um, but what, what happened is I saw, you know, people in 30 year careers doing the same stuff that I was doing as an intern. And I was like, that's not for me. Um, I can't wake up in 30 years time and be making, you know, in Australia, it'd be like six figures a year or something and uh, doing the same job I was doing 30 years ago. It's just, it's just not that interesting. So I'd say one reason that people recommend others come out to Southeast Asia or South America or any similar places is because it breaks you away from all the old anchors that you grew up with, right? So I, I grew up in Australia. I have a lot of friends there who I you know, really enjoy spending time with, but they're not business owners. They're, they work for corporates, they work for big companies in Australia and internationally. And when you hang out with those people all the time, it's really, really difficult to get into an entrepreneurial mindset. So I think when people say you should come out to Southeast Asia, you should come out to South America and things like that, it's because you're gonna be around people who are hustling, people who are hungry for it, and people who you know, really wanna make businesses that succeed. Now, the, the other side of that, does location matter? Okay. Um, I have a contrarian view on this. A lot of people say that, um, you know, you should be able to travel around an area of the world all the time and still hustle. I, I slightly disagree. I would say that when you're starting up a business, you really need to be in one place because it helps you focus and get things done. However, once you've hit a certain point, um, one of your bottlenecks in your business will be that, you don't have enough networking contacts and resources. And that, at that point, you need to travel around the region and meet different entrepreneurs and get new ideas. Apart from the university thing, skipping higher education, I would probably have swallowed my ego a little bit and gone and worked for someone who was more experienced in business, probably try to find another entrepreneur who had a team of maybe three to four people and go learn from him or her. Um, learn the ropes, like really, really learn the ropes from them, you know, work for free, if not minimal amounts of money until I knew what I was doing and then gone and done my own thing. I think that would have cut the learning curve a lot in terms of that. We're very lucky. We don't have that many fires and setbacks because the way we built the business is very much systems based and foundation based. Um, both my business partner and I are very quiet, introverted kind of guys. You know, in, in a given Friday, Saturday night, you'd probably find us working on campaigns or, you know, writing SOPs rather than uh, out there networking and generating new business. And that, that comes with the, the cost, of course, of, you know, not being as strong on the front end, um, which is actually a wall we hit and uh, we're handling it. But yeah, because of that, like we, we don't really have problems with fires or emergencies or anything, um, especially even as a business grows, it's not a big deal can handle it.